So this is a video I created recently and to quickly summarize Instagram's requirements for uploading and expo exporting video to their platform, uh, both your maximum width and height can be 1080. So you'll notice when you when you render at that exact resolution, it takes up the entire space Instagram gives you to to post stuff. So for instance, you look at this photo that I put on my account or this video, you'll notice that they take up the entire space. But before I learned how to do this, there's actually a couple of videos on my account where I rendered at 1920 by 1080 and you, you'll notice that it does not take up the entire space and it has these ugly black bars. So that's, that's what we don't want. Anyways, I'll leave a link in the description below to a site that fully lists all the detailed specifications for uploading video to Instagram, such as bitrate. But for now, uh, let's hop into this project. Uh, as you can see, I usually export my videos in 1080p, uh, but if you, if you usually upload in 720p or something else, then you're gonna have a couple things to change. Uh, but let's hop to our project properties. And the first thing you're gonna wanna change since Instagram wants us to upload in 1080 to fill up that ent whole entire space, that square space, change your pro project properties to 1080 by 1080 for width and height. Uh, you're gonna have to make this profile custom as well, this template. Uh, frame rate is completely entirely up to you. It's all dependent on what your source frame rate is. For instance, I filmed this video uh, in, th in 30 frames. So I usually export in 24 because that's the frame rate that I like to export at. And you're gonna hit apply. And you notice that this goes from a wide rectangle to a nice square shape which is what we want. But you'll notice, as I said before, we have these black bars, these ugly black bars, and we don't want these. And that has to do with your pan crop. So you'll notice I have pan crop enabled for pretty much every one of my video clips. So, and you notice that this fills up the entire square here, but this one does not because we have not set our width to 1080 in our pan crop. So always select your first keyframe when you do this so that you, it doesn't mess it up anywhere along the line here. So select your first keyframe and change your width to 1080 as well. And you notice that when I did that, it changed the height along with our, 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 our width as well. And the reason for that is you have both lock aspect and size about center enabled. So disable these and again, change change them both to 1080 and you'll notice it becomes that nice square shape and fills up the entire box here. So you do that for all your video clips and it should end up looking like mine does here. But yeah, this works for Vegas 14, this works for Vegas 15, it works for any version uh, as long as you can export. So you wanna come over, so after you've done this pan crop, change your pan crop, and again, when you render this, render it out to, of course, the last clip and go to File, Render. And I have my own custom template for this, but I'll give you a, a little uh, peek at what it is. Again, I've changed both width and height to 1080 and all the rest, of course, all the rest of these settings are up to you, uh, all dependent on what your video is about. Um, but the main thing that you just want to focus on here is just your width and your height being 1080. And so you click OK and of course this is basically the same as this and then you just go ahead and hit render. I've already rendered this video, it's up on my Instagram page so if you want to check it out you can hit the card on the top left of this video. And uh, that's pretty much it. There's not much else to do here. All you gotta do is render your video, render this out and you'll be good to go. Upload that to Instagram and you're set. So yeah, that was how to export video to Instagram in 1080p using Sony Vegas, not using those weird templates or a different resolution. So I hope this helped out and if you enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like or subscribe. It really helps me a lot and if you're really feeling inclined, you can hit that bell button and get notifications when I upload. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.